Welcome everybody to the Chicago Motor Speedway, the site of the 17th race of the SCRL Classic Truck Series. The number two of Daryl Emma will be leading us to the green flag. Starting beside him will be the number 52 of TJ Dent. Here's the rest of the starting lineup. 33 trucks. Yes, we are three trucks away from having a full field. Of course, this is the only race that almost has a full field. Because why? Everybody loves the trucks. And who can blame them? Going into this race, Kaka White Lion has a 144-point lead over Nick Solman. So, yeah. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Yes, Kaka White Lion has a 144-point lead. That's pretty big. And we're racing at Chicago Motor Speedway, not Chicago Land. Remember, this is the track that the trucks ran at 2000-2001 and got tore down. And it's finally been made for NR 2003. Thank God. And for some reason, we've got trucks. Whoa! What the hell? Jesse Turner and Ori has just wrecked each other. And they're still going at it. And they're still going at it. And they spun. What the hell? And they finally separate. And Turner's going down pit road. There's the green flag. We're racing in Chicago. Oh, that's kind of weird. Wow. Okay then. Daryl Emma leads him into turn one. Let's see, we got Alex Pedro being pushed in the second by the 84 truck. And they're going three wide in turn three, which ain't good. TJ Denton is in the wall. And so is another truck. And another. And another. Uh, oh, oh, they saved it. Oh. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Damn. The number 60 is Zachary Fitzwater is upside down. The caution is, of course, out, but we're racing it back. And Big Jake has spun out. And so is the 84. Hmm. Not the best of ways to start a race. Well, the number two of Daryl Emma is your race leader. Whoa, they gotta slow up. Okay. We'll take a look and see who brought out the first caution. Actually, first, let's take a look at this between Orius and Jesse Turner. Looks like Orius is just trying to get up to the starting spot. Turner just crowds him for some reason. Then he just turns dead right. Hard into the outside wall. I'm not sure what that was all about. But we move ahead to the cause of the first caution. Rick Rome and the 99 truck. He bounces off the wall. And that's what get it, gets it all started. Then they start getting collected. But that's not the big thing. The big thing was the 60 of Zachary Fitzwater. He actually flipped over. There we go. Let's go to this, this cam. He goes into the wall. Wow. Huh. And more trucks got involved. Uh-oh. Both the first and second place in points, Nick, Nick, Nick Solman and Kaka White Line were involved. Oh, boy. The front stretch is a mess. Yeah. Well, now I'll take you back to the restart. 
and we are back. The 62 of Chris Kyle is the only truck out of the race. Well, technically, Jesse Turner is, so Turner never even completed a lap, but he will still be credited with 33rd place points. We got the 15 of Nick Purcells and the 60 of Zachary Fitzwater. They're both one lap down, so they will be starting on the inside. Daryl Emma is still your race leader. He started on the pole and he's led every single lap. He's looking to dominate. Which has happened quite a few times in the truck series. Pace truck is in. Green flag. We're back to racing at Chicago Motor Speedway. Emma leads him in the turn one. He goes wide. Purcells is fighting hard to get his lap back. He's still trying. Oh, Alex Pedro's right on the bumper of the third of the two. Oh. And my leads that lap. Purcells is still one lap down. We got a truck on pit road. That's the 20 of Alex Wheeler. That's the pit road right there. Purcells completes the pass, so he is now right behind the leader. Still racing to get his lap back. going on back here. There's Selman. He's second in points. And there's White Line. She's the leader. They're both running in the 20s. Which is not good for them. Rest of the trucks. Alex Pedro. He's way high. Not good. Oh. Uh, yep. I knew it. Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? Needles nearly just went for a wild ride. And the front stretch is once again blocked. And we're racing it back. Hopefully these trucks get out of the way. Daryl Emma leads him off the corner and he will lead yet another lap. Whoa! Uh oh! Ben Gerhardt, he gave a tap to Daryl Emma. Uh oh. That ain't good. He's got some rear end damage too. Right. Daryl Emma is your race leader. We'll take a look. All right, Alex Pedro, he's riding around and tenth or so bounces off the wall. T.J. Dent has nowhere to go. Pedro, hard into the inside wall. And as you can see back there, they're just stacking up. Damn, holy, sh holy crap. Both Needles and Matt Dalio went for a ride. The creator of this track, they didn't really make the wall solid. You just get smooshed into the wall. Gets hit by the 17 and wham! And Noodles too. Wow. That's incredible. Check this out. Bam! It's like it is, it's an accordion effect. When one truck wrecks, they all wreck. And then here comes the rest of the trucks and they just start slamming on brakes. Bam. And the front stretch is a mess once again. Back to the restart now. And we are back. That wreck took out a lot of drivers. As you can see on the screen, a lot of drivers. 
Daryl Emma is still your race leader despite having that little incident with Ben Gerhardt, so yeah. So Daryl Emma is first, second is Ben Gerhardt, third is Nick no, third is Sebastian Torres, fourth is DJ Harris, and fifth is Daniel Voyez. Nick Persons is still one lap down, so he'll be in between third and I mean second and third. Pace truck is in. There's the green flag. I doubt we will end this race under green. Especially for all the wrecks they've been having. Emma got a good start. Ben Gerhardt is right on his bumper, though. Oh, no. Not again. Yep. Yep. And they all start wrecking. Well, they're racing it back. This will more than likely end the race. And Big Jake wrecks. Yep. There they all go again. Well. I saw that one coming. Orius is destroyed. Oh, Jesus. 18. Truck is stuck in the wall. Wow, that was a mess. Well, Ben Gerhardt is your race leader. Oh, boy. Let's take a look. Daryl Emma is leading going into turn two. I mean, Daryl Emma is leading and going into turn two. He bounces off the wall. Ben Gerhardt has nowhere to go. And runs into the back of him. At the same time, Nick Persons gets spun out by the three. We have a dual spin. Yeah. That ruins their chances. And we got another spin. The 84 and the three. Where did Orius get his damage from? I don't even see the... Oh, there he is. He hit the 84. That's what uh, That's what happened. What happened to the 18? Oh, boy. That still look good. Going four wide, and he gets smooshed into the wall. And he gets stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. And we got more big wrecks. Sweet, the 48, 50, and all that. Whoa, the 7 was, Yep, the 7 tipped over. But he lands on all four wheels. Wow, that was... That was a clusterfuck. Yep. Well, I guess we'll take you through the race results now. Here are your race results to be... Wow, you know what actually happened? Colin Dryberg is your race winner because Ben Gerhardt had to pit during the caution. So, Colin Dryberg is your winner. Second is Dink Drinker. Third is Ty Dent. Fourth is Ted Cajun. Fifth is TJ Dent. Sixth is Rick Rome. Seventh is Alex Pedro. Eighth is Need HPK. Ninth is Max Smith. And tenth is Kaka White Lion. Uh, yeah, here's the rest of the race results. You got Trevor's lap down and whatnot, and all that good stuff. Yeah, a wreck fest field race, which is not a surprise. And we got a spin on pit road. And now we will take you to victory lane with Colin Dryberg.